Hello, Mike. How yes, are you? How you doing? I'm doing great, my man. What about you? Very exciting for me, man. Every day, I'm, I'm just around the game of basketball and just just having fun with it. So a different experience for you. It is a different experience for me. Uh, you know, number one, I, you know, as a basketball player, I felt like you had definitive control on mm -hmm. how the outcome of the game will go. And now you really don't have that control as much as a player. So uh, as a coach, it is a different experience. But, uh, you know, I, I just try to fall back on the, the knowledge and uh, that, that I learned from over the years playing, uh, you know, professionally over in Europe and just, you know, try to help the guys as much as I can on, on, on a daily basis. I, I think that's where I felt like, you know, I've been getting better at with coaching every single day with that. Mm -hmm. And also um, with the staff that we have here. Um, you know, working with Steve Clifford uh, and the coaching staff for this is the fourth year now, you know, working with them one year in Charlotte and three years here in Orlando. Uh, Steve Clifford is, is, a, is a teacher, you know, first with his players and with his coaching staff. So it's like, you know, to to leave uh, Europe and to fall back into uh, a teacher that's just as knowledgeable um, as an Obradovich. Uh, you know, you're constantly, your, your mind is constantly evolving and, and learning um, every single day. And I'm just in the best place to be right now. You're American Bradovich. You want to be an American Bradovich? The mentality? Uh, is that I, wanna, I just want to be myself, man. I mean, to try to walk in Bradovich's shoes on uh, any level, that's going to be a tough task. I mean, when you look at his resume, I don't think a lot of coaches can can touch that resume except, you know, Phil Jackson, uh, probably Pat Riley, some some other guys, Greg Popovich. Uh, they're they are sitting at a table uh, all by themselves. And to try to be one of those guys is going to be very, very tough. But I will fall back on, you know, the things that I did learn from him. Uh, and I think that's the one thing uh, that that's been helping me uh, survive over here, uh, because if you look at the NBA game now, it's. It's all pick and roll spacing, and that's, you know, right up my alley from, you know, what I used to do in, in, in Panathinaikos. So um, I think that's the reason why uh, they, they've they hired me. Uh, you've seen the, the, the results that we've been getting with uh, Nikola Vucevic. I mean, he's a two-time All-Star. I think, every, you know, since the first day our staff came in here, uh, we have been developing players the, the right way. Uh, we just been hit with a lot of injuries this year um, that has uh, really put us in a tough position. But, you know, even, you know, losing games, you know, you still wake up in the morning uh, with that fire, you know, burning inside you to get better as a coach, number one, but also help the players get better every single day. And it's, you know, as long as I'm doing that, I know that I'm, you know, moving in the right direction. I have to ask you this. Uh, did you have any proposal from Panathinaikos? To be the head coach of the team? Uh, I wouldn't say it was a real proposal, uh, but I I know when they was going through a coaching change, uh, mm -hmm. you know, my name came up and they talked about it a little bit. And I, I did have a conversation with Dematitis, but we both understand my situation here because I still have another year under my contract here. So, uh, you know, if my contract runs out here and I don't extend myself here, And, you know, if that's the right option for me to look into, you know, I'm not going to, you know, turn my eye on that um, mm -hmm. to have an opportunity to work with, um, you know, two teammates that that we won um, so many games together, so many titles together. Um, it'd be great to work with, with basketball minds. You know, I think we all have a high level IQ. I think we all have a, a, a good eye for, um, you know, talent. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens one day. Again, I'm, I'm not never going to say never. I'm not going to close the door on that. Um, to be a head coach on any level, especially professional level, is a, is a, is a very uh, humbling honor. And just hopefully one day that I will get my chance. But when I do get my chance, I, I hope that I'm fully ready. And I think that's the, the challenge that I've been taking on since the very first day I retired to to uh, be in this coaching field. Like, I just don't want to be 
you know, hey, he's just a big man coach. Or no, I, I, I coach all players, you know, and, and I have, you know, philosophies and I have, you know, rules and principles that you see that you want to try out defensively. And you also have plays that you want to run that you want to see if it works. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but right now, uh, that's that's not my time. Um, I'm just going to continue to, you know, work at my craft of what I'm doing now. And again, when that time comes to be a head coach, I hope that I'm fully ready because it, it is a, a, a difficult task. Uh, it's a different kind of pressure, different kind of challenge. And I just want to be fully ready to lead a group of men um, in the right direction and also, you know, give them um, the rich history and knowledge uh, that I have of this game of basketball. As you know, of course, Frank and the Diamantidis are in charge of Panathinaikos right now. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, strange for you uh, watching those, uh, your ex-teammates uh, being the bosses of uh, Panathinaikos? Um, I wouldn't say it's strange. I mean, you know, when you look at the history of, of basketball, there's been a ton of players who have, you know, played the game at a high level and has fall back into the game of basketball with coaching, scouting, uh, being on the top level of management, you know, uh, making decisions to bring players in, to get rid of players. I mean, it's it's been a revolving door in, in basketball for, for many years. So, no, it, it doesn't surprise me um, at all. I mean, if, if anybody's going to uh, bring Pants Nichols back and restore the glory, you know, it's it's two guys that have done it, you mm -hmm. know, as a player. And I think they know what it takes to to restore uh, those winning values uh, in Panathinaikos, uh, I, you know, and hopefully uh, this year they will end it the, the right way by, you know, winning a Greek championship. And then next year they can, you know, scout better players and bring better players in there, have a better product than they had this year. And year by year, they just going to get better and try to win more titles and hopefully be in the final four, win European championships. So that means that uh, despite your uh, heavy schedule uh, in the NBA, you do follow Panathinaikos. You know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I fully know what's going on, but I, I do follow a lot. Um, you know, I try to watch as many games, um, you know, as I can. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I watch their game against uh, Barcelona. Of course, you know, you have Nicolatas and Jeskovic on the, on the other side, but also, you know, you have this undying love for organization. Mm -hmm. uh, that you that you grew up in, you know. So yes, of course. Uh, you know, I kept in touch ever since I retired the very first time. Uh, but I would say the first three years was probably you know a little bit difficult because I had to kind of you know dis disconnect myself a little bit from you know Panathinaikos because I, I'm not a player anymore. You know, I'm not uh, running up and down the court anymore. You know, I'm not diving on the ball anymore. So it was uh, times where it was very tough to watch. But I think once I uh, finally got comfortable, like, you know, with myself being back home in America, you know, because I had to reinvent myself. I think once I got comfortable with myself, uh, you know, then I, I was able to, you know, sign on EuroLeague and watch uh, the games on the EuroLeague television on, on the Internet. So, yes, you know, I, I'm, I'm keeping in touch. Uh, I'm on the outside looking in. And I'm always rooting for them, regardless of uh, how many games they lose, regardless of the record, uh, if they win titles or not, um, they're always going to have my, my, my undying support. Do you right now uh, receive messages from my Panathinaikos fans uh, telling you, hey, Mike, we do want you back, come uh, to the team again, we love you, you know how it's going? Of course. Uh, you know, I get messages on, you know, my social media sometimes. Uh and it's it's again it's it's very humbling to to know that people want you back there to to help you know lead their team back to uh, to its glory to where it once was. Um, you know, uh, it'd be a great story to 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 have. You know, a former player who came from America yeah. to there won so many titles, was embraced, uh, you know, by the country, loved by the country, and you know it it'll be a great story. But again. If that happens, I, again, I, I want to be, you know, fully prepared to to lead, you know, a group of men uh, back to to his glory. So I don't know when it's going to happen, but uh, as of right now, I just got to keep waking up and, and getting better uh, to and to improve uh, every single day. Like, like I said, I have, 
you know, rules and principles that I want to do defensively. I have certain philosophies that I want to do offensively, you know, from my time as playing with Panathinaikos. Like, you know, you still have those plays, like, in your mm-hmm. mind of, of, of what you ran, certain situations with you and Dimitidis. You want to see if, if the same players can replicate that same thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Hunter. Hey, of course. I mean, that's what the NBA game is right now. It's all it's all pick and roll. Either you're four out one in or you're you're five out uh, with a with a center that can stretch the floor and just leave the paint wide open. Um, So it's uh, it's a lot of stuff that I'm learning here, man. It's 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 fun to to again to be at the highest level of of basketball. And it's also fun to, uh, you know, sit courtside, you know, and, and watch, you know, some of the best uh, talent in the world, you know, play uh, every single night. So I'm just, I feel like I'm in heaven right now, man. I, and I never thought in my wildest dreams uh, that I'll be, you know, coaching in the NBA and, you know, watching guys like Steph Curry, LeBron, Giannis, uh, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum. I mean, you're, you're watching, you know, great talent every single night. And, you know, I, there is times where I am watching a specific player and not really, you know, paying attention to like our own team because the greatness of one player, you know, you really want to see uh, how they're preparing their footwork, how they're preparing their shot. Like you're still learning all that stuff, even from guys that are younger than you. And I feel that as a coach, if you're not being inspired uh, by these players are, that are in front of you, then it's you're better off not coaching at all. So um, every single day, again, like I'm just loving the the way I'm getting better uh, at my craft. And again, hopefully one day I'll be given the opportunity to to be a head coach. Again, it's, it's that'd be a very humbling honor and, and a great experience for myself. 